Okay. Hey guys, I am DC, your host of Our Side Jive, and I am live once again on Dragon Street, where it is raining. It's been a little cloudy and raining all day today, but uh, it's all good. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. This show is broadcast live every Wednesday from 1523 Dragon Street in the heart of Dallas's Design District, just down the street from that very cool Virgin Hotel. This is the location of the very cool hip and hippie pop-ups, and I'm surrounded by artisans of all types, which I'll talk a little bit about more later. My show today is brought to you by Hip and Hippie. Hip and Hippie is a planet-loving company known for its high-quality, earth-friendly, 100% recyclable candle line and natural body care products. It's no wonder eco-supporting people love Hip and Hippie. Hippandhippie.com. Guys, I just want to take a second and say that on behalf of my show and everyone that I'm connected with, friends, families, and business associates, we just are thinking about you guys in Nashville. You know, we are all about music here and on Barside Jive and vocal, and we are just really hurt that you guys have gone through this just devastation. Um, we're very sad that uh, so many people lost their lives. Um, we're thankful that not more than did, uh, but we are just so, um, we're so sorry and we just want you to know that, you know, we are praying for you guys. We are thinking about you guys and, um, you know, you, you are in the heart uh, and soul of uh, the music business here in America. And uh, we've had a lot of talent from Nashville on my show. And so we just want to tell you once again that our thoughts and prayers are with you guys. And uh, we just hope that you heal from this and uh, the recovery is, is quick. So we're with you. All right. Okay, on this show I feature musicians and visual artists every week, so what do you say we just get started? To my left, your right, is Ellie Meyer. Let me tell you a little bit about her. She's a singer-songwriter here in Dallas-Fort Worth. She plays guitar, she sings, and she is skilled in multiple instruments, which I'm sure we're going to find out about. She's been playing and singing since uh, the age of 12, just a few years ago. <laughs> right. Ellie is always you told me to say that <laughs> Ellie is always open for something new whether it be new sounds or new lyrics she's always ready for the next big thing not only does she perform but she is also multi-talented she's a sound engineer <laughs> what every good band needs right <laughs> so when she's not performing for an audience she's setting up for one so she's either on stage or in front of the stage, okay? So you guys need to come hear her at her next gig, which we'll find out more later. But I guess, well, first I want to welcome Ellie to the show. You know, I'm, I'm anxious, so I like, want to get right into the questions. But I guess it's really an asset for a sound engineer to be a musician as well mm -hmm. because you can so much relate to the you know to the the, the talent that's playing oh, right absolutely. because yeah. you're you do both ends right so it's got to be like very helpful oh absolutely yeah 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 so tell me ellie what is going on in the world of meyer uh so many things <laughs> really it's it's the moment you think you're not busy that you then become super busy and yeah it just never ends so right right well tell us That's about what's it going on um well as a sound engineer i'm always uh working on gigs and yeah and setting up so that's been my life for the past five years wow um i've been doing that and performing not as much as i would like to but i'm trying to make them work hand in hand together right so right yeah you you think uh, if you're doing the sound at gigs you ought to be able to book the same venues right, right? oh by the way sometimes yes by the way I do have a guitar. Uh, that's what I'm 
I've oh. been trying to do. Oh, they canceled? <laughs> My guitar is in the trunk. <laughs> Uh, I can go get it. It'll take me uh, two seconds. Right, right. Do you put like, you have sound engineer cards, you have a sound engineer on one side and, and singer songwriter on the other no, side. No, but that's a good idea. You yeah. should do that. You yeah. should. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. And like Vistaprint, they're free. Right. <laughs> Where do many people have Vistaprint you cards because they're free? You them for a thousand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that, your first box is like free or something, yeah. right? So you have no excuses anymore not to have a freaking card. Of course, nowadays, I don't know who uses business cards. That's true. I mean, they're kind of faded out, right? I wanna, I'm want to. i going to invent an app that's like a business card app. Yeah. And you can just send it to whoever. You touch your phone and instantly you yeah. have it. Yeah, absolutely. Like that. I don't know. Yeah. That's just, copyrighted. You can't take it. Yeah, that's right. Patent pending. Oh, I tell you, those Chinese, though, they'll, they've already heard that idea, and they're already working oh, on it. Oh, no. If it's going to be up there if, in if like we, an if hour. We, if we make it here in the U.S., those freaking guys are making it, too. It, it may not be as good, but they're making it yep. to look, look and be just like what we do. It's crazy how they get away with that. But, uh, well, I don't know if they're getting away with it because I think they're – I think they're uh, – I think our uh, – People in the political positions are trying to stop it, yeah. all that trade stuff, but which can't be a bad thing. But it's well, it's plagiarism. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's using somebody else's stuff. It's just like you know, people write music; right. they don't want music, yeah. other people, you know, taking their stuff. That's true. So same, same, same. Yeah. Um, yeah, you've got a lot going on, girl. So you're you're <laughs> gigging yourself. You're doing sound. You do anything else? Um. I play with my dogs at home. Really? What kind of dogs you got? Uh, they're Irish setters. Irish setters? Mm -hmm. Are they kind of big? They're huge. Yeah, that's why they're, like, like, they're um, like a colt. Yeah. They're, they're, I call them baby deer. They're like little fawns. Yeah. That's what they look like. Yeah, yeah. You got two of them? Two of them. Mm -hmm. Wow. They eat a lot? Yeah. Kind of. Do they? They're, yeah. What, do you ever t have you ever tasted their dog food? No. You haven't? Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, did you hear about that guy in uh, <laughs> North Texas that's eaten dog and ate dog food for 30 days, had his no. blood work done, and he lost like 30 pounds, and he like, uh, yeah, he he his bad that. stuff went down, what? his good stuff went up from eating. The, he he made they make dog food, and so he was doing a thing oh, for okay. his company. So he for 30 days he ate his dog food, and it it it. You know, uh, I guess outside of the taste, because it can't taste good. Yeah. He it has some health benefits. Not that you need to go right out and eat dog food, but I mean you can if you want. I don't care. But I know the FDA has to make it so like it's edible to humans. Really? That's what somebody told me. Because a lot of people, I guess, ho homeless people. They eat dog food. Go and eat dog food because it's so cheap, or some of it is cheap. But, really? But they have to make it edible. For humans. Well, they buy cheap wine. <laughs> That's true. So I guess cheap dog food. <laughs> yeah. That's How did we get off sounds on that? Like a song I think I, dog it, food it and wine. there's your title. <laughs> you said you wanted a title for that song. There you go. Cheap, cheap dog food and ch cheap dog food and cheap wine. It's a new song right here by Ellie Meyer. <laughs> so, uh, any tickets or accidents? Um. I don't know if I'm proud of it, but um, since I was 16, I've had a speeding ticket every two years for like, uh, let's see, for like eight years. I had, <laughs> it was just enough time to get through it, and then I would get another ticket. So it was like. <laughs> She's counting. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really have to answer that. <laughs> oh, you like, didn't get. Oh, you didn't do accidents. No, knock on wood. No accidents. No. Really. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you're a pretty good driver. Mm -hmm. I try yeah. to be. You ever get pulled over? Oh yeah. Oh, you do. Oh, that's how I get my tickets. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, outside of getting tickets, do you get pulled over? Um, sometimes, mostly Just for speeding, but. They let you go. Uh, every once in a when while. When you don't get a ticket. Yeah, my I mom. Guess they have to. My mom is notorious <laughs> for getting pulled over and getting out of like every single ticket. Ever. Your mom? Yes. Really? I don't know how she does it. 
You ought to ask her what her trick she is. She needs to write a book. She has tricks for everything. <laughs> does she? Does she lie to them? Sometimes. <laughs> It's the, oh, I don't know where I am, or oh, I, I didn't know how fast I was going, even though you were going like 50 and 30, like, I'm pretty sure you would know. She ever tell them that she's got the flu and she's fixing to puke? <laughs> no, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sick. Yeah, that's sick. Sometimes I'm like, hold on, let me open the door. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it, no, it doesn't. Okay. It I mean, they will the let you, they'll, they'll let you, they'll let you puke in jail. I've never been to jail, so. Yeah, yeah. well, you don't want to go. So, oh, yeah, that coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you, we need to, we need to uh, be thinking about those people with that coronavirus. Wow, all those people in China. Yeah. It's what you get for making our shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it's like Washington State. Karma. Washington State, well, I mean, it's spread in Washington yeah. State, you know, it, just be healthy. Just stay healthy, and chances are, if you you'll probably get it, but it'll be just like the flu, and it's no big deal. Yeah. But if you're like really old, like me, or if you're like really unhealthy, like Ellie, then you know you could succumb to it. But That's true. otherwise, you're probably safe. Just take that probably. vitamin C. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get your mask. Get <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hey. <laughs> Tell, tell us, tell us, tell me how this music thing got started for you. Um, the very beginning. The very beginning, I guess, um, when I was 11 or 12, I started learning to play guitar. And secretly, I really wanted to learn to play the drums, but my parents were not about to let me learn the drums oh gosh, and take a drum set home. So to compromise, I would go to guitar lessons, and then they would let me go and play around in the drum room yeah. after my lessons. So um, that started, and as soon as I started playing guitar, I started kind of writing songs. Yeah, I wasn't the best singer, so if you heard the stuff I was recording on my little stick microphone in the '90s, yeah, what was recorded on that computer, you would say. Girl, no, you need to just stop. Well, how did you, fi how did you fix it? Um, I just kept singing. Yeah. Just experience? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a vocal coach? No. Yeah. I'm like self-taught, I guess. Yeah. Just... So do you play drums? I fake the drums. Okay. I can keep a beat. Okay. Oh, can you? Yeah. Okay. That's about it. So you're better at the guitar than you are the drums? Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got plenty of time to go back and work on the drums. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's always nice to be a triple threat. Yeah. I play ukulele. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like what you like better? They're both so different. Ukulele or the six string? Yeah. I like. I guess since they're so different, it's like if I can't come up with a song or something, then I'll pick up the ukulele, and as soon as I do that, then I'll start coming up with new stuff so so it helps it's kind of a trade-off yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah like hmm. it. it's fun yeah and it's smaller and easier to carry around oh yeah right <laughs> yeah i guess so yeah so your mom uh is musically inclined no dad uh my dad dabbles on the guitar okay a bit but my grandma what's, what's dabble mean like he he put he can play guitar like he'll pick up a guitar and i'll play uh, a couple songs, a few and chords, then yeah. that's all he'll do. Yeah, dabble. Yeah, dabble. Dabble. <laughs> I knew what it meant. I just want to see what oh, your okay. I just want to see what your definition was. Dabble. I want to see if it's the same as mine. <laughs> okay, well that's cool. So mom's, nope, she's no, a listener. She's a listener. But dad dabbles. Dad dabbles. And Ellie is like pro. Try to be. <laughs> <laughs> Getting there. All right. You know what? We've wasted enough of these people's time. Let's <laughs> let's play Nobody them some. Nobody wants to hear me talk. Let's play them some music. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's play them two. Okay. So won't you play us two back to back, and just make sure you before you play the second one, we want to know about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Right. Can do that. Yeah. All right. Do you need some water? Uh, yes. <laughs> sink water. Yeah. 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 Well. Now fancy. It's fresh though because I just turned the water on when I came in. <laughs> Guys, I want to I want to tell you this is Ellie Meyer right here on Barside Jive Live on Dragon Street. It's all yours. Ding. 
Um, so this song is called, I guess I'll start out with this one. Um, it's called Falling For You. Um, I wrote it kind of on a whim. It was just one of those, you get an idea in your head and you, you just kind of go with it and then you end up writing a song in like 15 minutes. Whereas some songs take you like years. Um, it was kind of about somebody I had a crush on, but that was like lasted a week and then nothing. So I kind of got a, so a song out of it. So I'm okay with that, but it's called Falling For You. Um, it's kind of like meeting somebody and being interested in them and you kind of get the butterflies and, and whatnot and you end up falling for them. So here we go. jump into the next song. <clears throat> Maybe tune a little bit. <clears throat> so this is a song I wrote, I guess, for somebody I was seeing at the time. Um, and um, this person just kind of made me feel like happy, like they were like your whole world. And um, <clears throat> so the song is about, I guess, them or whoever you like in your life who is, um, I guess, that special someone. So uh, the song is called She, for lack of a better explanation. <laughs> through 
play some more of that oh definitely. whoa what a great what a great night for this i mean it's just chill i've got some great music it's just it's awesome i mean i would think your solo thing you ought to be booking at like all the wineries and oh absolutely yeah yeah places mm -hmm. like coffee shops wineries those kind of you get it's, it's great stuff now but you have a full band uh -huh. right tell me yep. about that uh my band is called mm -hmm. autumn's amber and some of the songs I'm playing tonight are uh, songs we play, and we're kind of a folk rock group. Um, there's four of us, and we're, we're, we're a good bunch. Yeah. yeah. Who else in it? <laughs> um, I have a guitar player. His name's Jason Champion. A bass player. His name is Warren McCallum. I always say McCollum, and I say it wrong, and they make fun of me every time. <laughs> um, and then we just got a new drummer. His name is Joe Dolce. And me, Ellie Meyer, and I play guitar and sing, and ukulele. Very cool, mm -hmm. very cool. So, how would the kids back in intermediate school, how would they have described you? Um, like compared to like a, another artist or just? No, just like, how would, as a kid in school, how would they have described you? What kind of kid were you? Oh, what kind of kid was I? Yeah. Um, sometimes I was kind of the class clown. Really? Um, in what way? Uh, not. I wouldn't act out in class, but I was. I I like to make people laugh, so I would try and be funny. Uh huh. Like. Um, did you get in trouble for being funny? Sometimes. What did you do one time that you really got in trouble? Um, I think there was one time we had a substitute teacher, and she had left the room for something. I uh, thought it would be funny to like stand in my chair and like stand up. And as soon as I did that, she walked walked in the door and was like, I caught you. And oh, I was wow. like, oh, uh, yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you... That was like seventh grade. Really? <laughs> did you get in bad trouble? No. no. It was just kind of like, uh, I got you. You're in trouble. Ha -ha. Yeah. Don't those do that. <laughs> those substitutes, sometimes they were smarter than what we realized, oh, weren't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, we, we thought they were kind of dumb to the system, but no, they... <laughs> They knew. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So the, your kids, the classmates thought, you know, hey, she, she's kind of the class clown. She's funny. What else? Were you quiet then? You weren't quiet. Um, sometimes. I'm, I can be shy, but I can also be outgoing. It just mm -hmm. kind of depends on the situation or who right. I'm with. Um, I think in, in like grade school and high school, I was outgoing. Yeah. Um, Were you athletic? Yeah. Did you like sports? Mm -hmm. I played like everything. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. 
Um, all the sports that height doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> I'm so you didn't do basketball. Pretty short. I did for a little bit. Well, and actually, then it, then it got to a point where it was like. Actually, there's been some pretty <laughs> I mean, short considering. Yeah. In basketball, they've done really well. That's true. Yeah. So. But that was not me. <laughs> that wasn't you. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So besides music, do you do anything else that's cool? Um. Are you like? What do I do? I'm pretty boring. Really? No, I don't know. It's, it's, you fish, you hunt, you. Um, I've never been you hunting. Collect like stuff. I collect. This is a thing I started recently with the job that I do. So a lot of the, a lot of the uh, events that I do for my job. You know how like artists will throw pics into the audience and whatnot. Yeah. So sometimes they'll do that, and sometimes they forget and they leave their equipment on stage and so I'll pick up the pics that they've left and and today I needed a pick pick so I grabbed Roger Krieger's pick oh okay so I collect like all the all the, pics. the the pics from all the artists and stuff that yeah. I worked for you got a bunch of them oh yeah I have like a little bowl full really yeah oh how cool so, yeah that's the thing I've started doing. yeah do you do anything really weird weird mm-hmm I guess if you do um, it, you wouldn't think it's weird, weird. but that's I guess, true. I guess if you did it, you wouldn't think it's weird. I think I'm normal. Yeah? You think? On a scale from to 1 myself, to 10? In my head, I tell myself I'm normal. <laughs> um, okay. Well, with that, that's a good lead-in for a song. <laughs> the song's called Weirdo. Yeah. Or Creep. But, yeah. Okay. yeah. No. You want to play another couple uh, songs? Yeah, I can do that. You want? If you want me to, yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Uh, back to back, do the same thing. Okay. Okay, cool. Sure. Here, here she is one more time. It's Ellie Meyer right here on Barside Jive Live on Dragon Street. What a cool street to be on. It is. Right? Dragon Street. Yeah. Um, so, I always have a hard time picking what songs I want to play because I want to play good ones, but I don't want to like overkill them. Um, <clears throat> but I also want to do new stuff. And I want to do old stuff so people who have heard my music can be like, yes, I love that song. I know Rachel yeah. Ann's probably watching, and yes, I will play Reckless in the Week later. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do this song's called Peace of Mind. And I kind of wrote it um, when I was talking to a friend who was going through a rough time. And it was kind of of the perspective of searching for something and. Uh, not having that one thing that you need, I guess. And so that thing is having peace of mind. So this song is kind of searching for your, your peace of mind, but it always being in that thing that you wanted or the thing that you are searching for. So am I making any sense? Yeah, Sometimes. This Lily, Lily, Lily <laughs> says, breakfast in the wind. <laughs> breakfast in the wind. So... Talk about breakfast in the wind. I'll get there. I'm going to stand up. Love it. <laughs> um, so I'll, I will get there, and I will talk about breakfast in the wind. We got to do it for Lily. She's Just having, for Lily. Let's have enough. Let's have enough. But first I'm going to do this song, and then I guess I'll do that song next. <clears throat> but this is called Peace of Mind. Searching so endlessly, but you that I can't see. 
because all the water's outside right now. Yeah, it is. There's plenty of it out there. <laughs> right? So. <clears throat> what are you going to play next, Kelly? I'm going to play a song called Reckless in the Week. And I wrote it kind of as a fluke song back when GarageBand was starting to be a thing. And I rec recorded this song on GarageBand. And if you heard what I had recorded, you'd be like, okay, no. <laughs> Uh, but it's turned out to be like one, the one song that everybody likes and always wants me to play. So, wow. um, <clears throat> but I love it because sometimes I'll write a song like a long time ago and then just kind of have ideas in my head and write it. And then years later, I'll be listening to it or playing it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense right now. Like, it's like past me is talking to future me and telling me like, whatever I need to hear at the time. So, right. wow. so listening to the lyrics of this song, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like talking to myself in my song. Yeah. But, but it kind of the basis of the song is kind of like, you're going to make it through it. Like no matter what's going on in your life or in the world, like, like just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and just keep going and things are going to get better. So that's the basis of the song. And it's funny because when I sing it, people think I'm singing other words than Reckless in the Week because that's like the, the tag of the song. And somehow, someway, somebody heard Breakfast in the Wind. So I'm going to make a spoof song and video of like me playing and having breakfast foods flying everywhere or something like that. Oh, that'd be cool. But <clears throat> it's an ongoing thing where every time I announce this song, somebody comes up with a new title for it. So I need to start keeping track of everything that everybody's come up with. So right. if you have your own spin on Reckless in the Week, or if you hear me when I'm singing it, and whatever you hear, type it and t tell me what it is that you're hearing me say. Cause God, no God knows, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but here's Reckless and the Week. I'm winning. 
the week. It, what? It's not the breakfast? <laughs> breakfast in the wind. <laughs> breakfast in the wind. Um, Poor Lily. She's a little confused. <laughs> She's like, I thought this was a song about breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Lily. <laughs> I just figured it out that it has nothing to do with breakfast. Nope. But you can call it whatever you want to, I guess. It's one of those <laughs> you can title it songs. <laughs> it's ever changing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> so, so what's the best advice you've ever been given? Um, be patient. Really? As dumb as that sounds, it's, trust me, I feel like I have all the patience in the world until things happen and you don't know if you can stand it anymore, but like be patient, not just with like people, like your life because so many times you you end up in a situation or you're going through something and you're just like it's never gonna get better it's never gonna change and and just be patient because it does because uh people always are like just give it time give it time and it's like yes but be patient about it too just but, but yeah, ellie patience <laughs> is so hard it's so <laughs> Just be patient. Gosh. When you're waiting in line at Starbucks for your oh. coffee, and then they get it wrong, and then they get your name wrong, oh. just be patient. Yeah, patience. Because you might get a free coffee out of it later. Or somebody... Um, or a girlfriend. Yeah, or somebody might grab your coffee, and you grab their coffee, and then you realize it, and you meet, and you exchange coffees and numbers and next thing you know you're married wow 
That, that would, didn't happen to me. But that would be huge. Just be patient. Be patient. It's so hard <laughs> to be patient. Uh, it's not one of my better traits. But you can pra practice makes perfect. I know. Are you an Aries? No, I'm a Taurus. Taurus. You're a Taurus. Taurus, oh, however you say that. Taurus? Yeah. From Texas. You're, you're I'm a, a Taurus. You're a bull. I am a bull. <laughs> yeah. I'm very stubborn. Oh, really? Hence the patience. So. <laughs> hey, stop there. I know all about Tauruses. And I know all about them. Hey, um, changing the subject. Okay. Um, this is called my lightning, no lightning round. Okay. And the reason it's a lightning round is because generally, you know, I'd ask questions or throw things out there and you'd have you know quick response mm -hmm. and we move through the list pretty quick okay. unfortunately i'm just not that kind of guy that can just let it go okay. so sometimes you may give an answer and i may like really wonder about it and ask you a question so i, I slow it down so it's really kind of lightning no lightning around okay? okay okay so you ready don't look yes. oh sorry i looked at it <laughs> don't look okay ready yes okay chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin oh chocolate chip oh raisins are gross you don't like oatmeal raisins? i like oatmeal cookies but raisins are gross oh it's a texture thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Whataburger or Taco Bell? Both. You got to pick. Whataburger for breakfast, Taco Bell for dinner. Okay. That works. Taco Bell or Taco Casa? Ooh, Taco Casa. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, right? Absolutely. Oh, yes, right. Oh, coronavirus. We shouldn't have oh. done that. No high five. We'll have to get our... <laughs> Corona crap. We'll have to swab our hands. <laughs> Led Zeppelin or George Jones? Oh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Favorite Led Zeppelin song? <laughs> you don't know one. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me teach you one real quick. Lightning round, go. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it ain't George Jones. Yes. <laughs> okay. Texting or talking? Talking. <laughs> really? Yes, because texting gets so complicated sometimes. Really? Because you can't, you, you need the personality and you need the like, Emphasis on words, or else it gets so misunderstood and so complicated. And wow, I'd rather just talk to you. Yeah. Instead of get mad at you for no reason. Yeah, you know that's considered old school now. Talking. Yeah. 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 I hate it. Texting. Talking or texting. I hate texting. Okay, favorite month of the year. Um. Probably. Late November. Is that what you asked? Month? Yeah. 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 I like fall. I like oh. I love winter, but I like the fall into winter. Because I love snow. Oh, had nothing to do with Thanksgiving? Oh, that's true. Yeah, there's Thanksgiving. No. Oh. But it had nothing to do with that. No. It was the It was the season. weather. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. See what I mean? I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, on time, a little late, or really late? I'm always probably a little late. A little late. You weren't today? No. You were, you were I, like 35 minutes early. Only because I left when I thought I was supposed to, but it turned out that I could have left later. You probably sped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's wet outside. And it's rainy, yeah. Oh, my gosh, it's bad. There was like three <sighs> accidents I saw today. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, say a word in Mandarin. Mandarin. Good. Sugar or artificial sweeteners? Neither. But mm. if I had to eat one, probably sugar. Because artificial sweeteners don't taste good. Mm. Okay. Do you blow your nose in public? Sometimes. You do it in public? Yeah. Really? I won't do it here because of the coronavirus. Yeah, I don't want it. Favorite musician ever? I mean, you don't, you don't hide to blow your oh. nose. If you just got to blow your nose, you just do it in public. If I need to, yeah. Do you? Okay. Some people just refuse. They just... Oh, yeah. You know. Okay. Favorite musician ever? Um, right now, I would say... I guess my overall number one is probably Bryce Avery of The Rocket Summer for his songwriting. Really? Because he's really, really, really talented. Yeah. And he always has a good message in his songs. He's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And that may be it for my lightning round. I think it is. Just 10. Yep. 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 You want to play another song? Sure. Okay. One.
Just one. We'll do one and we're going to close. Okay. Okay. I can do that. And then we'll save one for the very end. So three songs? No, just one. And then and one then to close. Marianne. Yeah, okay. yeah. I can do that. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, guys, one more time. This is Ellie Meyer right here on Barside Jive Live on Dragon. This one requires tuning and drop D. You know the weird thing we were talking about? I do that. What? Weird things. Like what? I thought you said you didn't do, you didn't do anything weird. No, like talking wise. I'm just calling myself out on it now. I don't know. I can be awkward too. I try not to be, but awkward. I can't help it. I don't think you're awkward. So this song's called Say Hello. 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 Say hello. Um, it's probably my favorite song I've ever written. Just. Um, it's kind of like a feel-good song, but I wrote it about a friend I had a long, 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 long time ago who I hadn't talked to in forever and was thinking about them for some reason on Christmas. And I wrote this like on Christmas Day and just made me miss them and the, because the type of person they were, they could talk to anybody and make them feel at home or make them feel loved or just anything and just they're just all around good person and um, this song kind of in, is inspired by them it's called say hello <clears throat> mostly because we take people like that for granted and we don't realize what we have until we don't have it hence the not having talked to them in a long time so here we go seconds out of your day just to say hello She'll ask you how you are and if you like staying talk for a while But you'll take for granted all that she is and you'll never
you. Man, love it. Love your music. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, have you ever met any famous people? Yeah. Really? Who? I have met, um, more so from my job, I've met. Oh, running sound? Yeah. Uh, famous people I've met at Rascal Flats. Yeah. I've met, um. Did you get an autograph? No. It was get a picture? More of like a, hey, how you doing? Cool. Bye. Oh, no, no selfie? No. Um, yeah, sometimes that's not cool. I've met, um, the band Perry. Yeah. Um, I've met, I've played the keyboards for, or on the, I was helping them do a sound check for Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. Um, they're going to be back with Santana soon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're coming back to Dallas, yeah. Um, Santana's headlining the show, but yeah. Yeah. I met Cody Johnson. Um, Just a bunch of people. Yeah. Susan Gibson, who wrote Wide Open Spaces. Yeah. Great song. She's one of my favorite artists. Yeah. Um, well, that was done by um, Dixie Chicks. Mm-hmm. Took me a minute. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, lo- I love the Dixie Chicks. Me too. Yeah. Um, With uh, Goodbye Earl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great stuff, man. That was good stuff. Good stuff. So tell people about your schedule. What do you got coming up? So um, my band is actually playing at Six Flags uh-uh. on Tuesday, uh-uh. March 10th. For uh, Spring Break. Yeah. Y'all at the Gotham, Gotham City stage? I don't know yet. I bet it is. Maybe, probably. Um, so if you follow us on Facebook, you can find out more information about it. Is that next Tuesday? Yes. This, uh, Yeah, next Tuesday, March 10th. Um, yeah. We'll be playing two sets. Um, I think the first one is 7.30 to 8.30. And then nine to ten. Awesome. So, I'm excited about that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Mm-hmm. And then we'll be playing Den Arts and Jazz Fest in April. I think it's April 24th on the celebration stage at 9 p.m. Oh, that'd be cool. So I'm looking forward to both those gigs. Yeah. And some in between yeah. if they get booked. But just follow us and. So if if they want to check your schedule regularly, they go where? Autumnsamber.com. Autumnsamber.com. Mm-hmm. That's A U T U M N S A M B E R dot C O M. Now, what about your solo stuff? I mean, um, you don't you don't put it out there. I do. I'm not as I don't keep up with it as much as I do with my band. Mm. But um, I have a Facebook page, Ellie Meyer Music, and you can follow me on Instagram. That's probably your best bet to see what I'm up to and what I'm doing. And Usually, if I'm working on a new song or something, I'll record it and post it on there. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very cool. Well, guys, look her up, Ellie E L L I E Meyer M E Y E R Music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you're gonna play one out, right? Sure. Okay, hang on a minute. Let me clo- let me close this show, guys. We do uh, appreciate you watching tonight and enjoying this fine music brought to you by. Uh, this hip and hippie pop-up right here at 1523 Dragon Street in the heart of the design district. Uh, we just want to talk real, talk real quick about what all goes on here as far as these artists are concerned. We have a number of artists that do a variety of things, but one thing they all have in common is they create um, what I call the beautiful to the badass, one-of-a-kind gifts for men and women. And... Uh, We've got actually got an event coming up this month, and I'll share more about that probably next week. I'll have more info, but it'll most likely be on a Saturday, I'm guessing. But uh, uh, you can come out and check out these artists. Can uh, will you know actually create their their art right in front of you sometimes? And uh, we've got everything from handmade jewelry to silk scarves to uh, paintings, uh, rock and roll, uh, flowers, uh, floral paintings. Um, they, they've got rock, rock and roll pet collars for your dogs, your cats, your husband or boyfriend, leashes. Um, I mean, they're all spiked out, all blinged out. Uh, we've got um, 
a coffee brand here, handcrafted teas, all sorts of uh, amazing natural candles. Uh, and we've got a bunch of stuff, guys. <laughs> Just we've got a bunch of a bunch of cool stuff. So we're open here every Wednesday from 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. and on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. If the sign's out, we're here. So, so don't forget that special person in your life. I know sometimes, you know, you look for a one-of-a-kind gift because you just want to give them something that somebody else might give them, right? So you want something special. So you can find it right here. Now, you can follow me and all my content on YouTube, youtube.com, Barside Jive Live. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, at Barside Jive. It's B-A-R-S-I-D-E-J-I-V-E. -E. I want to let you know that our show today has been brought to you by Edo Popkin. Edo is based in Zurich, Switzerland. He creates fine men's clothing for the cosmopolitan man. Tailor designs for a unique look, setting you that's right, Brad. You apart from the crowd. Our show is also sponsored by Optographics right here in Dallas, Texas, who created my amazing signage behind me. Show them, Vanna. Man, they were going fast. Optographics.com. So, guys, we are just about out of here. <clears throat> Thanks again for hanging out with us this evening. Thanks, Ellie, for being here and Thank playing you. for us. It's been awesome. And now go follow her, find her, and listen to her play live. Do it on your phone. Do it on your phone. That's right. Now be kind to one another. Be a hero in someone's life. And until next time, keep it real and keep on rocking. Here she is one more time, Ellie Meyer, right here on Barside Jive Live. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's yours. <laughs> so I could do a cover. Yeah, yeah, you can do a cover. All right. <clears throat> this one goes out to my mom and dad. Because every time I play a show that they come to, they request a song. Whether or not they showed up on time. They make me play twice. Oh, they got lateness from you. <laughs> oh, or you got I got it from, from them. them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is uh, Sunday Morning by Maroon 5.
So you want to tell them bye? Bye. Just tell them thank you for thank watching you Barside for watching Jive. Wait a minute. Barside, oh. Thank you for watching Barside Jive live on Dragon. Thank you for watching Barside Jive on Dragon. I don't know how to make a dragon. <laughs> You're all right. All right, guys. We'll see you next Wednesday right here. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yep. Okay. Say bye, Ellie. Bye, Ellie. No, bye. Bye. Say bye to them. Bye, y'all. <laughs>